Hey guys, and welcome to another quick video review with me, Ben Hall, for bxbgames.co.uk. Today, I'm talking about the new UFC game, the creatively titled UFC 2, brought to us by EA on the major platforms. Uh, the review code I was provided with was for Xbox, so that's what the footage was taken from and what you can see running in the background right now. Now, first of all, I want to be immediately transparent. While I've played the previous UFC game, I don't really watch a lot of UFC on TV. I know what MMA fighting is. Actually, I just watched the amazing Jean-Claude Van Damme film Bloodsport, which in, in many ways was what I would say was a progenitor to MMA, and I highly recommend it if you want to watch some mindless action. It was really good fun, actually. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to UFC 2. Um, UFC 2 is... A sequel in the vein that there has been a few more things added to the formula, to the mix, but it's still a very stripped down experience. Um, like I said, while I don't watch a lot of UFC, one of the things that immediately did impress me about UFC 2 was the TV star presentation. The I've seen enough of the fights to know that what's represented in the game is incredibly accurate to what you get in the pay-per-views and the TV shows uh, in UFC. Basically, you... Um, you start off UFC 2, uh, you know, customizing a character, creating your character. Uh, I had the game face captured um, character from the previous game, actually. Um, but I could immediately tell that the quality of the importing of the game face and the customizations on offer for my fighter were superior to the previous game. The visual fidelity uh, on offer in UFC 2 is really unparalleled. The fighters look amazing, and when the actual combat starts, there's a great sense of physicality to it. But I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Um, what you've been seeing in the video here right now is some of the sort of customization stuff that's available in UFC 2 uh, when it comes to training your character in career mode, upgrading him. Um, it's it's a nice idea, but it's not exactly the most engaging aspect of the game. The problem is that you can do these sort of training mini games. Once you've done them well enough once, you have no real reason to do them again because you can just automate the system. Uh, and then I, I just didn't feel the need to like play the, through the sort of slightly tedious sort of matching button type mini games or simple command based mini games to increase my stats. It just didn't give me enough reward. Maybe uh, I'm not going to get the most out of it that way because when you simulate the training it, it doesn't give you as much as you can possibly get but it was giving me enough to upgrade my character uh, and making him competitive. On in addition to the campaign mode or the story mode on offer in UFC 2, there's a basic jump in fighting kind of system that just gets you into a match, uh, an arcade style thing with various real life UFC competitors or any of your customized characters that you want to use as well. There's uh, a basic multiplayer suite, uh, you know, versus modes, pretty obvious. There's there's one nice thing which was like um, a tournament system for co-op play. So you've got a few of your mates around, you sat on the couch, just passing controllers. And there is a system in place there to like, you know, you can play a tournament like against your friends, which I thought was a cool little addition. And then there's the ultimate team style mode, the heavily monetized microtransaction up the wazoo EA favorite that appears in all the EA games. If I remember correctly, it wasn't actually in UFC 1, but I could be mistaken. But it's heavily in UFC 2, and it just doesn't work for me. I mean, it barely works in the other modes. I think FIFA's and Madden's are the best, you know, the most sort of sensibly well done. In UFC, it's really weird because you could use up to a team of five customized created characters that you make yourself, but then all the cards you get are how you upgrade and develop the characters instead of, say, new fighters. Whereas in obviously in FIFA and Madden it's new players and new kits and all kinds of things like that and it just makes a bit more sense. In UFC 2 it feels really forced um, and I can see people getting into it, don't get me wrong. Some people just love that kind of heavily customizable stuff. For me, it just feels so unnecessary that all of that's sort of so heavily monetized and microtransaction. Not something I'm a big fan of. Uh, in the video you're, right now you're seeing a lot of the, the pre-game kind of, or the pre-match TV presentation, like I said, it's really, really well done. And then that takes me into the best part of UFC, which is the combat, which is the fighting. It works so damn well. The striking in UFC 2 is just unreal. It's the best I've ever experienced in the fighting game. And I'm talking about, I guess the closest competitor to UFC are the WWE games, though still they're very, very different experiences, very arcadey. And then obviously you've got things like the Street Fighters and the Mortal Kombat. The fighting, the actual striking mechanics in UFC feel fantastic. There's a real sense of weight and a real sense of impact from the punches and the kicks you land in the game and that's what really elevates the experience for me and actually made me spec my character heavily towards striking 
over submission or clinch based fighting or ground wrestling um, that you also get in the UFC games purely because when you get into those types of fighting in UFC things aren't as exciting or as engaging it's a select a move situation on the right stick it's been actually quite heavily simplified compared to UFC 1 and I, I can understand why because I found the stuff in UFC 1 especially as a non-fan of the of, uh, of, of UFC in general I found it really complicated and hard to grasp but now they feel like they've gone too simple there's no skill there's no real thought that goes into it it's just quickness and um, countering and timing based it's it's nowhere near as engaging as it, the striking is. The striking is where the game is really, really well done and very, very, very exciting. One other thing I noticed when playing UFC is that it was quite difficult to find the right level of difficulty to play at where I would be equally challenged um, but also feel like I was achieving things. The, the difficulty can really spike in UFC and even on the easier settings you can suddenly go up against somebody who just kicks your ass, especially in the career mode. So I was finding it hard, I was like going medium and then easy and then beginner and then back to medium again and hard, just to try and get a sort of a feel for the way the game fights. Don't get me wrong, because I'm not a massive fan of the sport itself, I don't have the level of in-depth knowledge that maybe would make it easier for me to understand how some of these moves work. But, you know, I, I think at a, there's a point where the game itself is at fault here, and I definitely think you know, that's one of the problems with the difficulty spiking in this game. It doesn't feel balanced as well as it could have been. Um, I, do, I definitely, on balance, found myself enjoying my experience with UFC. While the career mode is a bit simplistic and it just not as engaging as it could have been, there's no real story there, there's no real feeling of progression for your fighter. You know, you're going through these fights, you're forced to retire at a certain point, you get fans, you get money that can upgrade your abilities and your perks and, and buy you new moves, which I was definitely enjoying, like customising my character's fighting style and really getting into the nitty gritty of that and upgrading my strikes and different kicks and punches. There was no real tie, no narrative tying it together. You'd have sometimes have random events that would um, affect things or maybe make it so that you got better training or you had to carry an injury into the next fight but there was no story there and I feel that like from the, even from the little I've seen of UFC on television that characters have become a real thing in UFC of late um, it's almost moving towards more of a WWE style presentation definitely more like that than it is say boxing um, and there's a real lack of character in the story mode and the story mode is still the meat of the game at least it is for me I'm not like I said a big ultimate team player so and that's all about kind of creating your own experiences anyway I'm much more about the sort of the story that's on offer and the progression that's on offer in the game um, and it's a bit lacking sadly so as a pick up and play fighting game where you can jump in and jump out play with your friends have a good bash get some of those those characters and those kind of those fighters that you've heard about play them uh, you can do things where you can play the card that's just been on TV the other like the last night or the last pay-per-view or something like that so you can feel very current and up-to-date and there's promises of constant updates and new fighters and keeping it current I love all of that it feels like it's well supported it's a beautiful game stunningly good visuals which makes sense considering all they've got to really model on the screen are the two fighters and the octagon themselves there's not a lot else going on to be honest so it makes sense that what they can focus on looks as good as it does but yeah i think ufc uh, overall is a really really sort of good fighting experience but it's not necessarily the well-rounded experience you'd hope if you were a fan for the, you know for the game to have to represent what the tv show and the pay-per-views have become so bearing all that in mind, I think it's fair to say that UFC 2 offers a great fighting experience, but not that package that we were hoping for. I give it 7 out of 10.